Hello, and welcome to the Saijin EVAC Charger Installation Guide video. There are two models of charger, T2 and T2SH. That means T2 with charging cable and T2SH without charging cable. Other than that, their installation process is exactly the same. Prepare the following installation tools before installation. It's important to select a suitable installation site in according with the requirements outlined in the guide. Required clearance space is also essential to keep the product away from other objects nearby. Then unboxing the package, check whether the items in the package are complete. Keep the mounting fittings horizontal and mark the whole drilling position on the wall by a marker. Use a hammer drill to drill holes on the wall according to the marked positions. And place wall plugs into the holes to fixing the mounting fittings. Use wall mounting screws to secure the mounting fittings to the wall. Take the AC charger from its package and disassemble it. Install and secure the terminal block. We can now start with the cable connection process. Let's take a three-phase charger as an example. The Saijin EVAC charger supports both top routing and bottom routing. Bottom routing is recommended. Disassemble the waterproof connector first. Thread the AC cable through that and fasten the waterproof connector. Fixing screws to secure the cable in place. The stripping length of cable insulation is determined by the Saijin and EVAC port to which cables are connected. The exposed metal core should be 6 to 8 millimeters. Make OT terminals. After that, connect the cable with the OT terminal to the EVAC. Similarly, connect the other cables as well. Attention! The device cannot operate if the connection is wrong. Safety hazards can be caused if the PE wire is wrongly connected. So, choosing the proper wiring method is important. For different forms of power grids, please strictly refer to the wiring methods shown in the guide. Next is the signal cable section. Thread the signal cable inside the EVAC and secure the waterproof terminals. For RS-485 cables, strip the cable skin and connect one end of the RS-485 signal cable to send to the Saijin and EVAC and the other end to power sensor. For FE cables, strip cables to make FE terminals. Then secure all signal cables with cable ties. There is also a SIM card socket on this end, so if you need to use the 4G function, insert the SIM card here. Insert FE cable. When all cables are securely installed, align the charger with its rear cover, and tighten the anti-theft screws at the top and bottom of the rear cover. For AC charger with charging cable, you also need to install the cable holder. The installation method is same as the mounting fittings. Pick the right spot with the help of a level, drilling the holes. Screw it in place. Finally, placing the charging connector and organizing cables. When top routing is used, the equipment top should be adequately protected to prevent water ingress caused by prolonged water accumulation. First, unscrew the top plug. Then install the waterproof connector at the bottom to the top before connecting cables. The rest is the same as for bottom routing. Log in and create a new system. By scanning the QR code and providing system and other details. Afterwards, download and install the latest software and set parameters as needed. settings. And now you have successfully added a new EVAC charger. Log in and create a new system. If there is no internet connection, click this button. The Saijin app automatically connects to the EVAC hotspot. The rest of the steps are similar to normal commissioning.
want to connect to the WLAN network again after a networkless commissioning, please find Sigit EBAC in the settings. Connect the host post again. Open the network configure. Connect to WLAN network. Congratulations on your successful network connection.